Hello everyone, this is Burak Güzel and welcome to Code Igniter from Scratch, day number 9. Uh, today we're going to cover two subjects. Uh, first, we're going to look at file uploading and then image manipulation. Um, and we're going to build a simple image gallery where we have um, thumbnails of images and a upload form to upload our images. Um, so let's just start with a fresh install of CodeIgniter uh, just by going to CodeIgniter.com and downloading it and once you extract it just open it in your favorite text editor and I took out the application folder out of the system folder and I deleted the user guide folder and that's the only changes I've done and now we're going to start setting it up by going to the config folder uh, and setting the base URL in my web server I'm using this URL and next thing I'm going to open the auto load configuration and I like to load um, the URL helper the form helper and let's also auto load the file helper uh, as you may know these are going to be available in everywhere in our application now that we auto loaded from this configuration file um, okay let's get rid of this and let's see if everything is running I'm going to refresh yes so if I go to localhost CI series index.php that's that's where my files are and that's where what my URL is and you should just see the welcome page um, and let's get started with building our gallery uh, so I guess maybe we can start with building the view file first so go into the views folder and create a PHP file named gallery.php this is going to be like an HTML template as you know um, so let's just create a blank HTML uh, template to use um, maybe give it a title such as CI gallery all right and I'm going to have two divs here um, first one I want to use for the gallery this is for displaying the images and thumbnails and the second one will be my upload form so let's just give it an ID of upload and um, let's start building the upload form first um, we we are going to be using the form helper functions and when when doing normally when you uh, create a form you might do something like a uh, form open uh, but uh, if you're going to be doing a file upload within this form you actually need to open it with this function instead called form open multi-part and um, this is the uh, controller is going to post to so let's say we're going to have a controller named gallery um, and uh, let's look at well we don't have the controller yet so let's create a controller so we can load the page and see what it looks like um, Okay, as I said, it's going to be gallery, and in, in controllers, as you remember, we create the class uh, same name as the file name and should be capitalized and extends the controller class. Um, in this controller, I'm just going to use the index page for now. We're not going to use many pages. And in this index page, which is this index will be loaded as soon as we go to uh, slash gallery. Um, and here I want to load the, the gallery view that we just created in the views folder. So we just do this load view gallery. And if I, oops, if I go to this page and it's all empty because there's nothing visible on the page but if you look at the source code uh, you'll see that uh, the form open multi-part 
created this uh, HTML code, which is a little different than regular form open because it includes this um, encoding type of multi-part form data. This is required for doing file uploads through a browser. Um, so let's go back and start putting more stuff in the view. For example, the next thing we want to have is the upload um, input field. So form upload function will create that for us. And a default name to use is user file. The reason I'm putting user file is the file upload uh, library is expecting this name by default. But you can change it to something else if you want and change the configuration when you're loading the file upload library. Uh, but by default, just using this is the easiest way. And uh, just need a submit form to go with this. And I'm going to call this input name upload and have a value of also upload. And finally, close the form. So if we look at this page, we're going to see our uh, input field. And OK, this is a little too big. My images are right here. OK, uh, so I'm going to be selecting images from this folder and uploading them um, like that. And then hit Upload. Well, nothing happens yet because we're not handling the upload. Um, so this just created a basic form upload, uh, I mean file upload form for us. And let's start working on handling the file upload. So let's go to our controller. And um, so here's the thing, when, uh, when we post to the gallery um, controller, so we're using the same controller for loading the page and also for handling the posted uh, form. So, you know, we're viewing the same page. We don't have to go to a different controller function and whatnot. So it's going to come to this same function again uh, and to check that uh, we received the upload. Um, I'm going to check this form field that I named upload, in the, which is a submit button. So I'm going to expect an input post of upload. So if that is the case, then we received an upload and then after handling it, we can still load the page just as usual. Um, so there's this idea about using PHP frameworks um, where we want to, we would, um, it's a best practice rather to have uh, skinny controllers and fat models, uh, which means uh, avoid putting too much code in a controller and let model the models handle most of the work. Um, so instead of putting a bunch of code in this section here, I'm going to, for example, have a gallery model handle the upload. Um, so of course we're going to have to create this model later on, and once we create it, we also have to load it here so we can use it. Uh, by going this load model and gallery model. All right, so the file, uh, the, the form is submitted, comes here, and it calls a, a method inside this gallery model uh, class. And so let's just create that model. Right, and as you know, this is a, going to be a class with the same name. Actually, the file name should be lowercase, like that. Oops, it's unsaved. Okay, let me save it and rename it. Okay, it's going to be lowercase, but the class name is uppercase and extends the model class. All right. So in this model class, we're going to, uh, uh, let's see, we're going to do the, 
method called do upload, which will handle the uploading. Okay, now when loading the upload library, well, it's easy. Just you just do this load library as usual, just like any other library. But there's also a second parameter that we can pass, which, like for example, there will be certain options like where the file is going to go to. Uh, so we're going to have it in an array called config. So let's create that array. Um, okay. Now the 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 library expects a config option called allowed types. This is required. Um, so it's like a security feature because we don't want any kind of files to be uploaded. Like we don't want some executable file or um, you know something that doesn't belong. So if this is an image upload. Uh, script we want to limit it to like JPEG uh, with both formats and GIFs and also maybe PNG um, and go, we also want to provide where it's going to go to the uploaded file is going to be saved somewhere uh, so that's going to be passed as the upload path and um, instead of typing the path here, for example, we can go like this, gallery path, which could be, um, you know, a member of this class. Um, so we're gonna, it's kind of going to be like a config option here. And um, this should... Okay. Um, let's initialize this initialize this value uh, in a constructor function. A constructor function is the same name as the class, and this gets called every time a model is loaded. So anytime we load the gallery model, uh, this function is going to be called first. And you also re are required to call the parent uh, constructor, which is just referenced like this. This is required for um, coding other models and controllers if you are ever going to call, uh, have a constructor function like this and um, so the variable I wanted to initialize here was the gallery path and it's going to be app path so if you don't know about this uh, constant it's a, this is a constant not a variable um, it exists in CodeIgniter and it's accessible from everywhere. Uh, it's automatically set to the path of your application folder. And so let's say we're going to save our images to a image folder, images folder. So I can create a folder called images. No, I don't want it here. I want it out here. Okay. So I have an images folder and it's not, it's not inside my applications folder. It's just right outside. So uh, I want to have the path up to that folder here. Um, now, having these dot dot uh, inside the path may not be ideal. So there's a PHP function that kind of cleans that up and returns us the real full path to that folder. So I'm just going to enclose it in that. And now this um, variable or sort of a config option here uh, is initialized and then that can be passed to the config that we're going to pass to the upload library. Um, so any file that gets uploaded should end up in that folder. So let's see. Um, okay, initializing it is not enough, obviously. So we have to actually uh, perform the upload itself. So once we load the library like this, it's available to us by going like this upload. Now this is the loaded upload library and we can call its functions. Um, for example, calling the do upload function just like that. So this will perform the upload operation where it just basically uh, reads the uploaded file and saves it to the path you provided. And we can test it by going to this 
test page and hit upload. So it, it should show up in my images folder. So I refresh and it's right there. Um, so it's working. So to review, what you need to do is have a config array which should have at least allowed types and upload path. You can also put other restrictions like um, maximum allowed size. Uh, we can see that in uh, the uh, user, if you go to user guide of Code Igniter, you'll see in the file uploading class uh, there are these config options. For example, max size would be the maximum size in kilobytes. So if, if you don't want images bigger than, let's say, 2 megabytes, you just pass 2000. And that, that will uh, let you um, check for that. And um, next thing we're going to do is, uh, since these uploaded files will be images and we want to create thumbnails, uh, let's start using the image up, uh, image manipulation library. Uh, so I'm going to delete this file that's been uploaded. And inside my images folder, I'm going to create a new folder named thumbs. So I want to, whenever a, f a file is uploaded, I want to up, uh, copy the image into this folder and uh, create a thumbnail version of that image in the thumbs folder. So <clears throat> to do this, I'm going to load the image library, which is done by going like this, load library image lib. And just like uh, the upload library, this also works with a config array. So let's just give this a config array again, but this will be a different one. Um, so let's say, let's see. Okay, we need to pa pass the source image, which will be the full path to the image that is going to be uh, processed. So we're going to read the uploaded image and then process it as in creating a thumbnail. Um, so the source image should be the path to the uploaded image. And to have the uploaded image's path, we need to fetch it from the upload library. Um, so for example, here, right after the do upload call, I'm going to fetch the data using this low uh, uh, upload data function. Now this returns an array which contains information about the upload process and which includes, for example, uh, the full path. So this array has a key named full path now which is the full path to the uploaded file. And now we also need to pass the path to the new file. So it's going to be somewhere in the thumbs folder um, where the thumbnail will be generated. So um, again, let's use this gallery path variable we created earlier. And append thumbs. So it's in the thumbs folder, the new file's location. And when resizing thumbnails, for example, you might want to maintain the aspect ratio. So we can pass that. That's one of the options of the image library. And just say true. And also we need to give, obviously, the new size of the image. So how big is it going to be? We're going to pass width and height. Um, Let's see, let's say 150 and 150 by 100, for example. Um, so I think that's the, all, the, all the options we're going to use this time. There, there are a few more options that you can use if you go to the user guide um, image manipulation class. There are a bunch of options that you can uh, utilize. Um, but I'm not going to go over each and every single one of them. Uh, so I, we're loading the library, so we need to perform the operation. And the operation we want to do is resize. And uh, we're going to call the image library. It now exists under this image lib. It's the same as name as the library. And call the resize function. 
So this is going to take the original image, save it as a new image under the path we gave and with the sizes we provided. So let's see. So I think this is ready to do a test. So let's pick another image, upload. All right, so refresh. Here we go, in images folder I have the one image and on the thumbs folder I have the thumbnail version of the image, hopefully. Let me open it. Well, it's a big window. Okay, as you see, the this is the small image and this is the big image. They were both saved. So it's working. So I'm going to delete this for now. Um, so let's work on displaying our image gallery. So for example, if we go to our controller, we should get the images and pass it to our view so the view can load them. Um, so let's say we're going to pass this in a data array, right? So in a data array we can say images and get the images. Again, I'm passing the obligation to, oops, uh, to the model instead of uh, writing the code in uh, the controller. So I'm going to refer to the gallery model again and have expect to have a function called Im get images. So as you see the controller is very light and this function is supposed to be in our model handling all that work. So we create that function. Um, and this function should read the contents of the images folder. So files and I like to use a scan their function. This is a P just a PHP function. It's not framework specific. Um, and I'm going to pass that gallery path yet again. So this is why I said I didn't want to type the path every single time because now we can just reference it and it's really easy to use. And this, when you do, when you use a scanner, it returns everything instead of including um, folders and it also returns dot and dot dot, those special folders. So I'm just going to clean them out with this PHP function from the it just takes two arrays and calculates their difference. So I'm going to um, subtract, per se, these values out of this array. Now, I'm going to have an images array and return it. So let's populate this array. Uh, I'm going to go for each for those files as file and looping through them I will append it to the images array and each one will be an array itself because we need to pass uh, both the URL of the image and the URL of the thumbnail uh, to the you know finally to the view but first to the controller which passes it to the view uh, so I want to have two pieces of information that's why I made it an array uh, so the URL should be the gallery path again. Well, no, actually, we should use um, URL version of the gallery path. So let's create a gallery path URL variable here. And let's initialize it again in our constructor. Um, so let's use the base URL. Um, slash images. So to link to the images folder. So that should work. Uh, wait a second. Actually, that's going to. In, the base URL will include like dot, dot uh, index.php in the URL. Um, um, so let's just create the ht access file real quick. I think this was shown in a different screencast. 
what this does is just remove dot index.php from your um, URLs. And I'm going to add, copy paste this code. Okay, right here. So I'm just using Modri write to get rid of index.php. Um, you can find this code on the uh, CodeIgniter website too. Uh, it just basically, if it's not a file or directory, it redirects to your path to your uh, CodeIgniter folder slash index.php. If it is a file or directory, it's, it's, it's untouched. Um, so when I do that, I can go ahead and go into my config folder and just remove index.php from the index page configuration. So for example, in um, here, I can do it like this. That works, and I'll, this should also work. Yes. So index.php is gone from our URLs, which is nice. Um, OK, let's, where were we? OK, the URL. So this base URL slash images should work. And so this is going to, the URL of each image will be um, gallery path URL and the file name. This already has a slash at the end, so I'm not putting it again. Um, and the thumb URL will be similarly this whole thing, but there will be thumbs in the middle here. Oops. All right. And this looks complete. I think that's it. So get images is done. It's going to give us the images. We're going to pass it to our view. And in our view, let's put it in the gallery. Gallery, we're going to open PHP. Actually, I'm going to use a short code. Um, if first I'm going to I'm going to create an empty state, which is, which means that if there are, if there's nothing, you know, output some sort of message. Uh, if images um, do something else, and and if um, let's put a blank. blank gallery kind of message here saying let's say please upload an image right so if there's no image then we should get that message well do I have images no hmm if set and images like that all right so we get we, uh, we get the message if there is nothing and if there is something um, I'm gonna remove this for example we're going to uh, you don't want for each for each images as image and this should have and for each All right so let's say we have a div with a class of thumb instead of ID, I gotta use a class. Uh, later on, I'm going to style these. So right now it's kind of all bland, but um, so it's a thumbnail which links to the main image. So it's an A tag, and there's an image tag. Uh, so the A tag's value would be. I'm going to separate these. To different lines. So the A tags, I mean the links URL will be the image URL 
since we passed uh, from the model we you know we passed the image URL which got passed to the controller which got passed to the view which is in the images array which we are uh, looping through and then each image has that URL so we can put it in the link here and also image source will be the thumb URL so similarly we, I'm going to copy paste this from here and instead of URL it's going to be thumb URL all right so I think that's it uh, we can actually upload something and there it is the thumbnail so um, when you click you get the full image and if I say like view image see the URL to the thumbnail so uh, there are two separate files and I can you know add more and they should show up um, let's see if we can make this look a little nicer I'm going to add the style tag and we have two boxes the gallery and upload so I want to give them both just like a little border and stuff ah. um, like let's say border one pixel solid the gray color this is the boring part so you can fast forward if you want to um, get I'm going to just you know make it look a little gallery like instead of that plain um, page look give it padding maybe um, also the blank gallery would also have some styling I know it's not a lot of fun to just watch me type, but um, it's going to be over just in two minutes. The thumb. So I'm going to style this th thumb div, and I want to make it. F I want to make it like float, so that I, we can put the thumbnail side by side or in kind of a grid look. Um, let's float them to the left and set aside padding margin all the good stuff and maybe a light background color like I don't know DDD also a little effect here just to hover <clears throat> um, one pixel solid that works and uh, I don't know why I need this but I have to put this so I don't get these ugly borders on the images so I refresh and looks a little nicer. Okay. Um, now there's a problem with the floats not being contained. Uh, there's a kind of a hacky way of doing this uh, with the pseudo element, the after element. I got this from the NetTots website too. Uh, Jeff did this in another tutorial a while back. What this does is just make uh, the problem is like this div here has these images, but it, they're not being contained because they're floated. So they're like they're coming out of it because there has to be something else that's not floated so that they can stay 
or the containing div, you know, should wrap around it. Font. I'm not sure what this is for. Okay, so I got this code from the one another tutorial from the uh, NetTots website. So you just put it after pseudo element, and uh, this should work, I think. So yeah, the children are here, and this weird flickering is happening because I used border on the hover instead of border. If you use outline, it's not going to affect the size of the element, the box model. So okay, now that. For example, that doesn't flicker anymore. Um, so that's it. Um, now we can go ahead and upload more files. You know, just keep going, and it's going to add them. Um, and of course, you can add pagination because this is going to keep growing. And um, you know, you can do, do all kinds of error checking and things like that. But I hope you learned about um, the file uploads and image manipulation. Uh, a little bit and then you can start utilizing them um, so see you next time bye